I'm Roger Mills. I'm here with Eric Johns from yeah. CGNJ Radiator. Uh, actually, and of course, their heat exchange business. And as you notice below us, uh, you see a Bryce Thomas radiator, um, of course, uh, over this table. And something we're going to do today is talk about the two companies. We're going to talk about some specialty products that y'all uh, repair and manufacture here in this plant. If you will, uh, let's talk about the history of the business just briefly and uh, how you got to where you are. Well, briefly, uh, in 1956, a man by the name of Bryce Thomas uh, started a radiator shop in downtown Gadsden. And Bryce Thomas happened to be my wife's grandfather and uh, started it in 1956 down here in Gadsden on 3rd and Locust Street. And that's where it was for years and years. Uh, late 80s, I went to work in the family business and I've got two partners, my two brother-in-laws, and, and uh, we, we were working there in the family business. Uh, my father-in-law, this is after the death of, uh, of, of Bryce, uh, father-in-law and my wife's uncle, LaBerl, uh, they were ready to retire and go on to bigger and better things, and uh, so they sold it to us. We wrote them a check every Friday for six and a half years till we got them paid That's off. That's pretty good time to know your son-in-laws are the ones that are slaving over the business. That's right. We were funding right their retirement. That's it. <laughs> And the uh, bad thing about it, we don't have any sons. I mean, we've got all girls, and none of them seem to want to get married, so I don't know. I understand. But well, anyhow. Times are changing. That's right. It's a good thing y'all are young. <clears throat> exactly. So anyway, guys, what we're we'll talking about today, uh, some pretty unique things they do here inside Bryce Thomas, uh, CG and J. Uh, their, their, their business ranges, of course, from everything from a, a radiator that might go into everything from a gas uh, golf cart to a, a Yugo to a train. Yeah. Um, and again, this is repair and manufacture to spec uh, to all these equipment. But we're going to talk specifically today about brass and copper, which you don't see very much anymore. No. Um, let's talk about, if you will, uh, some of the most common requests y'all get for those two products. What type of vehicles, I guess? Well, I guess mainly the most common uh, application nowadays for copper brass radiators. Uh, you, you might have some guy that comes in that's got an antique vehicle that he, uh, he does not want to, as they say in the, in the, in the business, street rod. Uh, he wants to keep it all original, so it's going to have a copper brass radiator. And he's looking for somebody that has the skill and the craftsmanship to be able to take that radiator and, and rebuild it and not just mess it up and uh, uh, take good care of his product and, and restore that radiator to its original uh, condition. Uh, we can do that here. Uh, also, you have a lot of over-the-road trucks like Peterbilt, Kenworth, Freightliner, uh, some Volvos, Max that still run copper brass radiators. And, and, and we're able to do that. Now you mentioned locomotives. Uh, locomotives uh, have copper brass radiators. Probably the biggest user of copper brass radiators right now that we see that, that come into our shop are uh, gen sets, stationary power units that you would see uh, in a hospital. Uh, in an office building, a high-rise office building in Atlanta or Birmingham or something like that, uh, they still have uh, big radiators with copper brass radiator cores in them. Uh, right before Christmas, I went, a customer of ours had me come out to a, uh, a data center uh, north of Atlanta and look at a job over there and, and quote it out and the radiator was 120 inches tall. Wow. <laughs> 120 inches tall, and it was about 100 inches wide. That was, that was, it was big. Like a box. It was, it was like this wall right here. Wow, and that's in the copper brass. And it was copper brass, yeah. But they weren't wanting to do that, were they? They had uh, to. Not, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and it was a copper brass radiator, and it was leaking. They're going to have to get it replaced. So, and that's something that y'all specialize in. And a lot of people, uh, whether it's nationally, internationally, you know, there's a lot, a lot of places that have the uh, engineering 
or the capability to manufacture, whether something large or small like mm -hmm. that. One of the neat things, uh, if you're, of course, interested, and we hope you are, please go to the website. There's, there's it's a monster amount of information, blogs, um, YouTube videos, all types of things that talk about their products and the way that they do it. Um, it, it, is, it is truly amazing mm -hmm. uh, that it is all done, of course, in the USA. And each of these pieces, this is not run through a robotic machine. These things are engineered on the computer through specs given Correct. by the customer mm -hmm. and then assembled, welded here locally, tested, dumped, everything, painted. Everything is done by hand here. Uh, yes. Uh, we, we, we build everything here. We don't import stuff. Uh, you know, naturally I have to buy the raw materials, but uh, we, we've got fin machine and we can turn a, a sheet of uh, copper uh, into fin. And, and right here is some fin that we have. And uh, this is what we make. And we get the tube. We order tube in and it comes in like a 10 foot, 12 foot tube. And then we cut it according to whatever the spec is for the size of the radiator that we've got to build. And, uh, and this is it. Well, something that, that you and I have spoken about, but I, I'd like for you to share this with, it's just a tidbit of, of tech information. Um, if you don't know this, you're not gonna know to even ask. But a lot of times I know you're asked whether it's a custom vehicle mm -hmm. or a very large 18, whatever it may be, if it's mm -hmm. custom made, you, and it's a high pressure deal. Right. Um, meaning that there is a lot of heat that's got to be exchanged in a small space. Right. There's some technology that y'all use like in this this piece here that enables you to cool things in a smaller space. Can you talk about that a little right, bit? Right, sure can. Uh, as you can see in this, this tube right here, this tube has little ridges or dimples in it. This is a dimple tube. Now, this tube right here, you can see it's just smooth. It, it, it doesn't have any dimples in it. Uh, with the dimple tube, Let's take this, for example, this core right here. Let me turn and face this and let the camera can see this. This has got four rows of tubes in it. And say you had a application and this is all the space you had okay. to, to, to cool whatever you've got to cool. Well, with the dimple tube, you can get more cooling capacity by running everything through there because what the dimple tube does, it restricts the water or the antifreeze or whatever you're trying to cool. It restricts it as it flows down through here, keeping it in the radiator longer. Now, the longer it can stay in here, uh, the more heat transfer you're gonna get. The more heat you're gonna get dissipated off of whatever it is you're trying to cool. And so uh, we offer dimple tubes along with the, with the other, with the straight line tubes. Hmm, that's interesting that such a, a small change in a small right. product mm -hmm. can make a huge difference in the transfer of, of hot to cool uh, in your vehicle or, or product. Right. So um, it's interesting. What are, what are some of the more fascinating uh, products that y'all would put that in? Oh. The copper brass. Some of uh, this is unique. You know, we, we, built, uh, we built radiators for uh, Model A's. We've, uh, yeah, wow. uh, 20, 28, 29 Model A's that, that we've built radiators for. Uh, not only that, we've restored uh, uh, radiators for early 30s, uh, vehicles, trucks, and cars. Uh, we even had a radiator in here, of course, now uh, for an REO speed wagon. I thought that was the name of a rock and roll band. I had no idea there was a such thing as an REO speed wagon. But guess what? There is. There we is. Built, we built a radiator for it. Now that's, that's a, again, a very unique thing. Uh, and, and I promise you, please visit the website. You're going to see an amazing amount of products. Uh, from an industrial standpoint to custom standpoints uh, to transfer your heat, uh, whether it's air, oil, uh, whatever it may be, you're going to find it there. Uh, and with these types of products, custom made right here in Gaston, right. Alabama, right. 
Please give them a call. Uh, check out their website. Eric, again, thanks for being with us. Thank you very much it's, for having it's me. It's always educational. Yes, sir. Thank you. You got it.